Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, give this video a thumbs up so that you never miss any of my wig related content. Today, we are gonna take a look at a style that I've actually reviewed in the past. This is Raquel Welch Portrait Mode, but this is in a different shade than I reviewed in the past. This is Shaded Sand, and this, the code for that one is 1621SS. This wig was provided to me by wigs.com for content. More on her in just a minute. Okay, let's start looking at portrait mode. So, oh my gosh, this wig is so pretty. And I really love this one out of the box a little more than the one that I reviewed in the past. And the reason for that is because the one that I reviewed before had more of like the, you know, neck or chin hugging, neck hugging bob. So what I had said in my review was that I needed to kind of flat iron that out a little bit and just, you know, get the ends to be more like this one. So this one came with the ends like that. So I'm really, really happy about that. Okay, so let me show you the lace front. Looks really, really good. And then here's the part. She's a full mono top. So you can part it wherever you want to. Here's the ear tabs. She does have some flyaways. You're gonna notice this time of the year, you know, it's December. There's no humidity in the air, so there's a lot of little flyaways, but looks good at the ear tabs. So this cap is fitting me really nicely. So ear to ear, it's fitting really nicely. Uh, forehead to nape, there's just a little bit of extra room. And I haven't had to take in the adjusters for my 21 inch circumference. So this is gonna be uh, true to average, but if you're petite, it's definitely not a large average, but it is a wefted cap. So there's plenty of stretch for those of you, you know, who are above average as well. Okay, let's look at measurements for portrait mode. So here in the front, we have an eight inch layer. The sides are eight and a half inches. The back has a nine and a half inch layer. The crown is 11 and a half inches and the nape is four inches. So shorter nape, you know, definitely a really, really cute bob style. 3.5 ounces is the weight. Let's take a look at the cap. So here's that full mono top. That allows you to part anywhere you want to. You could part left, right, middle, wherever you'd like to part. She has an extended sheer lace front. So that gives you full temple to temple coverage, natural looking hairline all the way across. Looks so nice. Soft felt ear tabs with a metal stay. Open wefted, this is their memory cap two. So you're gonna see um, just a really fine elastic in here and has lots of stretch, which I'll show you in a moment. Extended soft felt nape with Velcro adjusters. So here's the stretch in the cap, very stretchy. And there's some stretch in the circumference as well. Okay, let's take a look at this gorgeous color. So this is the Shaded Sand 1621 SS. This has definitely become one of my favorite blondes. It is rooted, as you can see. It's one of the shaded colors. So I like it because I feel like the blondes work really well with my coloring, but yet it does have the rooting, so my eyebrows look okay too, which I love. Those are always sort of my little criteria, you know. How does it do with my skin? And, you know, how does it do, is it rooted? I usually, you know, I like to wear a, I shouldn't say usually, I always like to wear a rooted blonde because I am a natural brunette and I do have these dark eyebrows. So description for shaded sand is that it is a light blonde shaded with medium brown. Very, very easy. Um, it's got a couple of blondes going through it. You can see very, very pretty. I see a, a platinum going through there and then uh, just sort of a neutral blonde. And then you've got the, the uh, medium brown shading. So that's that rooting. Anywhere you separate the hair, you're gonna see that rooting. So for styling, you're gonna have the consistency of the rooting throughout the piece. I'm gonna snap this light off so you can see it in just completely natural light. This is just window light. Okay, we'll take it outside and look at it outside too. Okay, so I'm right on the edge of my patio looking towards the natural light. So you can definitely see that medium brown shading. Here's the lace. 
You can see those beautiful blonde tones. And I'll step into the sun. Let's see if we can get a little bit of the glare off of it. Okay, we can look at a little styling, glasses. So she's super easy to tuck behind the ears, which I love. Really easy. I place my glasses on top of my ear tabs. That's just my personal preference. You can put your glasses up on your head. I would just, you know, tuck behind your ears first and then put the glasses up. But really, really easy, you know, for your sunglasses. You're myself in the eye. That wouldn't be good. Um, she's really good with a headband. Cute. And you can hold back all the layers with a headband. Which is, which is probably gonna be the best way if you wanna get all the hair away from your face. I know there's one fly away there, sorry about that. But um, you know, it would probably be best to use a headband to do that. Um, I think you could do a headband. And if you did a headband, you could do a little updo with her. Although she has these shorter hairs here at the nape that are gonna probably just, I don't think you're gonna get all of those up. So they're just gonna be, you know, baby hairs back there. So you could do a little short pony with a headband or a little twist and a clip, you know, back there. You could also, if you wanted to, with the headband, you could pull down, you know, some layers around the face. That looks cute. So as far as like half up, half down, those face layers are gonna wanna come down and then you can clip her back. But a lot of this layering up here, you're gonna get like a bump there, which I think looks really cool. I like the way that looks when you get a bump. But you know, more of these hairs might wanna come down. So you might have to bobby pin, you know, back here around the clip as well. So, but you know, she definitely has some styling versatility. And remember, these are true to life, heat friendly fibers. If you wanna go in and put waves in and things like that, you can certainly do that as well. So I thank wigs.com for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be an affiliate code in the description box down below. I do earn a small commission when you purchase through that affiliate code. So that is much appreciated. So thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.